With Glock Booth introducing the mirrorless camera, which is the Canon M52, it opens up a variety of microphones that we can now use for video confessional booths. Now, if you're looking to use your Glock Booth using only the iPad to capture video, please go and take a look at the last video I did where we recommend using Bluetooth microphones as those do connect to the iPad directly. Now the preferred microphone is still the Smart Mic Plus, um, but in this case, if you're looking to do video confessional booths using the mirrorless camera that is that comes with the Guac booth, then we're gonna go over just what you should be looking for in a microphone and the different options that you have. When using the Canon M50, you actually won't be able to use any type of Bluetooth device that's connected to the iPad anymore. And this is because the video and audio is now coming through the actual camera itself. So if you do want to use any type of Bluetooth microphone exclusively, you'll only be able to capture using the actual iPad in the Guac booth. Now there are actually microphones that allow you to make the connection to the Canon M50 wireless, but we're not gonna go over those in this video as we were not able to find anything that was practical and economical. So instead we're gonna go through a couple of the wired options, but please know that there are Bluetooth options that will connect to the Canon camera instead of the iPad. In order to use a microphone uh, for the M50, you're actually gonna need something that has a 3.5 millimeter connection. Now again, this opens up a lot of possibilities as you can purchase microphones that have this type of connection already attached to it, or you can get this cable, which is a 3.5 to XLR. Now an XLR is a, the typical microphone plug that you find in a lot of different professional microphones. So this allows you to connect to any variety of microphone that you might like. I've tested out two in particular, one that's an economical purchase and one that's a more professional level. And I'm gonna give you guys some samples of the audio for both of those. So you can make your own choice on these. When you're shopping for a microphone, you're gonna to wanna to look for something that says unidirectional. And that means that it's only going to pick up the sound that's directly coming to it rather than everything else around it. This is important because most of the time you're gonna be in a very loud area. So you don't wanna be picking up more background noise than you are picking up the sound of the person you're trying to record. I have two versions of unidirectional microphones in my hand. This one sells for about $35 on Amazon. It is uh, battery operated and has a life of about 27 hours according to the website, which is a really long time. The Smart Mic Plus had a maximum time of about eight hours, but really it was more like between five and eight. So this actually gives you a lot more duration uh, and it only uses AA batteries, so it's also very easy to replace. This also has an attachment so that you can uh, make sound even clearer. So this is for like people spitting on it and stuff like that. And it's hard to apparently put on. So anyways, we're not gonna put that on, but you have that option if you want to. I also have a two to $300 version, which is made by Rode. And uh, we're gonna test out the quality of both of these. So you'll notice uh, this one is also actually battery operated but you'll notice that both of them have the XLR connection. This is what I mean by you have so many more options because you can literally connect any microphone that has this connection to it. In order to connect your microphone to your Canon camera, you're gonna want to go in through the back of the photo booth. On the left-hand side of the Canon camera, you're gonna find this little door which you're gonna open and just put down. You're gonna feed your three and a half millimeter plug through the top opening where the flash goes through and just feed it down from there and then plug it into the side of the camera. Now the reason for this is that once you put the back door back onto the guac booth, you're not gonna be able to get the cord out of anywhere here, but it, when it's fed through the top, you'll have free range of it. So I have a very long cord. I don't actually know how long it is, but it's extremely long. So I'll be able to feed the cable all the way through and then put the microphone on a mic stand. Then you're gonna take the other end, which is the XLR, and you're going to connect it to your microphone. And you have now successfully connected your microphone to the Guac camera. There's a couple of camera settings you're gonna to wanna to make sure are enabled. So you're gonna turn on your camera, hit menu, go to shooting settings. We're gonna to go to menu option eight and go down to sound recording. So here you'll see that it's currently disabled. We're just gonna press the set button, press set again and then select auto. Now hit menu to go back. And actually I'm gonna go back in because you can now see that it's picking up the sound. The bars are moving down here and that's how you know that you've done this successfully. And that's it. Now you're ready to record using your Guac booth and your Canon M50 camera. 
Here is a sample of the Amazon microphone. Uh, this one is set to normal. It does have a switch, so I'm going to quickly switch it to the top one so you can hear the difference. I personally prefer the normal setting. Uh, I am about two feet away from the booth. I am in a quiet room, and the fan is fairly loud in here because there is no other noise. But Jamie's going to say something, and he's about seven to eight feet away from me right now. I'm now testing the Rode microphone with the cover on it. There's no additional settings on this microphone. Um, again, Jamie's still about eight feet away, so we'll see if we can pick up his sound. Pick up my sound, pick up my sound. <laughs> and the fan is still on. I'm two feet away from the booth, so this is a sample of the Rode mic. This is the sound using just the camera's internal microphone. You can probably barely hear me. Actually, I'm gonna yell now to see if you can actually hear me. You're probably just hearing so there you have it. Those are the couple of the options that you have available for using a wired microphone when doing a video confessional booth with your guac booth using the Canon M50 mirrorless camera. Now, if you want to know what settings you need to turn on in order to do this in the Salsa app, head on over to the support site, which will be linked below in the comments, and you can watch the video on how to enable the sound recording on video for the Salsa app. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell so that you get notifications every single time we publish a new video and I will see you in the next one.